This is the eighth video on the C7 rifle. In this video, you will be shown how the rifle operates, the prevention and remedies for stoppages. A weapon is useful only if it is operational. To better ensure that your weapon is capable of carrying out its purpose, it is necessary to understand why stoppages occur. In this way, you will be better equipped to remedy stoppages and get the rifle firing again as soon as possible. If the rifle fails to fire or stops firing, the immediate action is to cant the rifle to the left and look in the ejection port at the position of the bolt. If the bolt is at the rear, check for an empty magazine and change magazines. Operate the bolt catch and strike the forward assist assembly. Re-aim and continue firing. If the bolt is fully forward, physically check the magazine to ensure it is fully seated and locked in place. Cock the rifle and watch for the ejection of a round or empty casing. If a round or empty casing is ejected, strike the forward assist assembly, re-aim and carry on firing. If no round or empty casing is ejected, attempt to continue firing. If the rifle fails to fire, further action must be taken. Look at the position of the bolt carrier. If the bolt carrier is partially forward, cock the weapon and push in the bolt catch. Examine the body and chamber of the weapon. If a live round or empty case is in the body or chamber, Remove the magazine and clear the obstruction. Replace the magazine, operate the bolt catch and strike the forward assist. Re-aim and continue firing. If the bolt carrier is partially forward and the body and chamber are clear, operate the bolt catch, strike the forward assist, re-aim and continue firing. If an obstruction in the chamber cannot be removed during the initial remedial action, the chamber is being repeatedly obstructed, or the weapon is hard to cock or will not initiate remedial action, unload the weapon, remove the takedown pin, and remove the bolt carrier and bolt. Examine the extractor to ensure the claw is not broken. Carry out the ejector test by lifting up slightly on the front of the extractor Make sure there is tension there. To check the firing pin protrusion, push the firing pin forward and look for protrusion in the face of the bolt. If any faults are found, engage a weapons technician to remedy them. If the chamber does not appear to be obstructed and there are no broken parts, examine it for a separate case. If one is found, consult the weapons technician. It is essential that the gas receiver and the rear of the gas tube are cleaned regularly. If it is not done, there is a possibility that these two parts may become fused together with a round in the chamber. This will mean either that the weapon will not cock after firing the first round, or that the round in the chamber cannot be unloaded by cocking. As soon as possible, strip and clean the gas affected parts. Regular care and maintenance play a vital role in keeping the weapon operational.